Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. It's a short video carrying the second part of English uh, consonant allophones. My name is Nehara Pridi and uh, you're watching my YouTube channel Learning English with Pridi. And uh, what else? Let's get into our discussion. First point is in many accents of English, t is replaced by a glottal stop when it occurs before an alveolar nasal in the same word. So consider this example for explanation like uh, it's b an b an b an Okay, what's alveolar nasal in this example? N. And what comes before it? T. So what happens to ta? It is replaced by a glottal stop. Okay, let me give you another example similar to this one of uh, matan, which can be pronounced ma'an, ma'an, right. Second point is alveolar stops are reduced or omitted when between T consonants. So alveolar stops, they get uh, reduced or omitted. It means they don't have pronunciation when they come in between two consonants. Consider these two examples. Most people and uh, base game. Okay, consider the pronunciation of ta in the fast example. Mouse, okay. So ta is reduced. Why? Because it came in between s and p. Same is the case with the pronunciation of ta in this game. It is reduced, it's disappear because it came in between s and g. Okay, third point is the gestures for consecutive stops overlap so that stops are unexploded when they occur before another stop. That means when two stop sounds coming together, then the first stop sound doesn't have full explosion, okay, which is the criteria for plosive consonants. Consider these two examples, apt and rubbed, okay. And apt, p, and t, these are two plosive consonants, but uh, p doesn't have full explosion because uh, it uh, came before another stop, which is t, okay? And t has full explosion. Same is the case with rubbed, where ba doesn't have full explosion, whereas d has full explosion. Okay, last point is the literal l. It's a labic at the end of a word when immediately after a consonant. So lateral can also take the place of syllable. Okay, where when they come at the end of a word, especially after a consonant sound. Examples, paddle and channel. So paddle, what is literal? Okay, you can see literal l sound here and it comes after what? It comes after a consonant, which is d. Okay, same is the case with channel where we see l sound, okay, uh, coming uh, uh, what we call it after a consonant which is n, right?